Hello everybody, I'm about 17 and today we have a, a bunch of leaked images of some upcoming figures that are coming out. Now first off, these pictures are in no way high quality. Some of these are very, very low quality. Some are even just super blurry that you can't even see the names of the figures. But we have figures for Power of the Primes. We have figures for the Cyber Battalion series. We have some for the movie line. So first I'm gonna start off with the Prime Masters for Power of the Primes. We have eight Prime Masters revealed and all of them I'm assuming all of them are part of the 13 original primes. We have first starting off with Micronus, and I can't see the name because the image is so blurry. Then there's Leech Maximo and Skullgrin. Then Vector Prime and Metal Hawk. I really like that. I like Metal Hawk. He's cool. Uh, Alchemist Prime and Skull Raider? Skull Rotter? I Alpha Trion, and I can't read that either. Quintus Prime and Bludgeon. Megatronus and Bomb Burst. Soulless Prime and Octopun. I like the fact that they're bringing back the original Pretenders in a way that it's actually appealing. For me, I'm not a big fan of the Pretenders, like the G1 Pretenders. The whole aspect of like, oh yeah, a giant robot hides inside of a little human body, but the human body is like, it's kind of dumb. You can't really hide like that. I think a 20 foot tall human is going to be pretty noticeable. Kind of dumb. Whoever thought of that idea, kind of dumb. And the next up we have the Legends. The first wave is uh, Dinobot Slash. So yeah, we're getting more Dinobots. We actually have some in Deluxe and Voyagers that are coming out. Wind Charger, and he looks like he's gonna be better than the uh, uh, Combiner Wars version, or Generations Combiner Wars version, whatever it was that came out that. And then of course we have Scrapnel and Beachcomber, which we've already seen. And then we have Battle Slash, Road Trap, I'm guessing, and the third one at the way in wave two we i do not see uh, we can't really see what that is and then a lot of people on the whatever video it was where it, they revealed brawn a lot of people said that that brawn would be remolded as outback or it would be repainted as outback and there it is outback so i mean people people were pretty right about that uh pretty smart but i was also right about beachcomber i i was i was i was right i was right no shh i was right shush <laughs> Up next, Deluxes. Now this is where I'm super giddy about. I'm just so happy. First off, Dinobot Slug, then Dinobot Swoop, Dreadwind, Autobot Jazz, which we've seen, Dinobot Snarl, Sludge. So we got four of the five Dinobots, if you count slash five of the six Dinobots. Then there's Blackwing, Ripper Snapper, and Moon Racer. Oh my God. <laughs> Ripper Snapper is part of the Terracons is part of Abominus. I can't believe that my prediction, my theory came true. We got Abominus. Now, whether they're remolded off the characters that I thought would be remolded, I'm not sure, but come on, man. We got Abominus, I was right. Then in the next line of deluxes, we have Cutthroat, Blot, Sinner Twin, Jazz again, Nova Star, which I thought she was called Firestar in the G1 series, but I think that's, a, I think that's like a Marvel or DC comic book character, Blackwing, Dinobot Slug again, and Ripper Snapper again. But I am so freaking excited that we're actually getting Abominus, oh my god. And then in Voyagers, we have Grimlock and Starscream as the first wave, uh, Hunger and Alita 1 as the second wave, which is actually pretty surprising, but I feel like Alita 1 is gonna be a remold of that Starscream just because it turns into a plane. And then Inferno, which is going to be a remold of the Hotspot mold, and then Grimlock again for wave three. So first off, all of these are Combiner Wars torsos or Combiner torsos. So with the four Deluxe Dinobots and the one Voyager Dinobot, and then the one Legends Dinobot, I think it's pretty safe to assume that they're Combiners, just like with Hunger being the Voyager and the rest being Deluxes. Alita 1, that looks like artwork. That looks like not CGI artwork, just maybe like drawn up CAD sketches that were colored, maybe that. Hunger, of course, we don't see an official image for it. It's just a picture of the G1 toy and some artwork. Now moving on to the leader class size. Now, this is the one that actually has a pretty good image. Uh, first off, we have for wave one, leader class Optimus Prime, which is in a more G1 styled, uh, where he's the truck with his trailer. And it looks like, it looks like the truck transforms into its own individual deluxe and the trailer attaches uh, separately. Kind of like Power Master Prime, except it's not. Which is kind of strange why they didn't hold off Power Master Prime until now for Power of the Primes. But I think John Warden explained why. And then for Wave 2, we have Rodimus Unicronus. Not too sure what that is. Uh, I think it's just like that, that, that purple, black and blue repaint of Rodimus that we see. I don't know what the accurate, I think it's Shattered Glass Rodimus? 
Is that what it is? Shattered glass? I'm, I'm sorry. I do not know. I know they used it in the comics lately. Like, is it Hot Rod got a repaint or something? I, I do not know. I am sorry. I'm sorry for my ignorance. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to read the comics, but I'm still stuck on volume five. And then for wave three, we have the fan vote Optimus Primal showing basically what is the masterpiece Optimus Primal and then some artwork of Optimal Optimus, his, what is it, his third generation from the Beast Wars cartoon, which is pretty cool. Hopefully it's going to be like a, like a deluxe Optimus Primal and then he combines with, you know, his, his vehicle mode, his Optimal Optimus vehicle mode to create Optimal Optimus. I'm hoping that maybe the Matrix will store in the cockpit of uh, the Optimal Optimus vehicle mode, like in the show. That would be pretty cool uh, to see them carry that out and kind of kind of reference to the cartoon. So next up, we have his Cyber Battalion. We have two new characters, uh, Shockwave and Sideswipe, which features four step simple transformation, seven inch figures, evergreen styling and branding, packed out in closed boxes and case packs of eight. So Sideswipe, pretty cool, but Shockwave is what I'm excited about because we have not gotten a good uh, Voyager class G1 Shockwave like ever. I think the only good Voyager class Shockwave we have is the movie verse one and the Transformers Prime one. Being Cyber Battalion, you know it's gonna be like only in Europe and then it's gonna be like it's gonna be extremely hard to find it and there's gonna be scalpers all over them and oh it's gonna be so hard and they're also gonna be like cheap and their posability isn't gonna be great. Oh whatever. And then next we have four to five inch figures, four new characters, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Starscream, and Megatron. Here we can actually see what looks like some CGI images. Eh, I don't really care, me personally, but four, this is four core characters, four to seven, four to seven steps, simple transformation, evergreen styling branding, packed out in blister cards, case packs of eight. Which hopefully, with, if they advertise these Cyber Battalion figures to the US, you know, maybe we'll actually get them in like Walmarts and stuff, because I've never seen any of them. And then next we have stuff like how the Power of the Prime's story goes, and then how the gimmick is used, and then what really surprised me is in the Titan class box, set for fall of next year, Predaking. Hopefully it won't be too big, because like, I, I know like Devastator to a lot of people was just way too big, and he kind of was to me too, uh, but hopefully like maybe he won't be as big as Devastator, but if he is, I mean that's fine, but as long as he's like no bigger than Devastator. I'm perfectly fine with it. And now, moving on from all that, last but not least, the, m the new movie stuff. So here is a picture of, I'm guessing these are movie masterpiece, I'm not too sure, but these are two images of what I'm assuming are actually going to be toys, actually going to be figures. Um, first off we have is Grimlock, which is very hard to see. Um, it looks like, it looks completely different than the leader class or the Voyager. And then we have what is in gray model, of uh, what I'm, what I am assuming is a masterpiece movie blackout. That's my assumption. Maybe it's not. I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me with its complexity and its accuracy to the movie. So it looks like a movie. It looks like a movie masterpiece blackout. And Blackout is one of my favorite characters from the Transformers movies. Him and Drift are my two favorite characters from the movies, and he looks awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. Hopefully it'll it'll come with a little Scorponok kind of like the original toy did, uh, and then after that we have and then after that we have what what this is what confuses me. It's a line. It looks like it's a line. It says wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, but they're all set for this year. You know, four twenty twenty seventeen, seven one twenty seventeen, nine one twenty seventeen, eleven one twenty seventeen, and you know two of these waves have already passed. And we haven't gotten them. So, so what's the dealio here? I'm not quite understanding. Uh, you know, we got Starscream, we've got Optimus. Now, the Starscream look, doesn't look like a new mold. The Optimus, I'm not sure. That, I'm not sure if that's like a remold of the uh, of the Revenge of the Fallen Prime, or something new. The Megatron is just the Megatron and the Brawl. Wave two, the Megatron and the Brawl look like they're they don't look like actual figures. Neither does Ironhide, except for the truck. That looks like movie one Ironhide it might just be a reissue and then that you have TF you have Transformers 2 Starscream oh besides besides in wave one it does say TF2 Optimus at that point so it might be a reissue of that leader Optimus and then this little picture which is absolutely horrible I it's barely even noticeable uh, TF6 2 I'm not too sure what that says 
maybe that's a reveal for a new character in Transformers 6. Uh, and then we have Stinger, Ratchet, Crowbar from Transformers 3, Jazz, Lockdown, I, I can't read what that says, and then Stinger again. So that's basically all the stuff that's revealed. I'm just saying what the characters are. I don't know if these are going to be like Deluxes, Voyagers, if they're going to be, you know, reissues of previous figures, if they're going to be new figures entirely. Um, I can only say what the new Power of the Prime stuff and the new Cyber Battalion stuff is, but the movie stuff, I'm just kind of drawing a blank here. Besides the blackout and the Grimlock, I'm just kind of drawing a blank on what it all is. You know, because this is all, all these pictures are just, you know, the uh, pictures taken from a Skype call. Somebody took this on their phone of a Skype call on a computer, which is, in my personal opinion, that's freaking dumb, dude. Take screenshots, man. You'll get higher quality of screenshots. Maybe he didn't have time. I'm not too sure. But this looks like a business press conference Skype call. Somebody took pictures and then put it on Twitter or something. So that's about it. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. You know, leave, give me your opinions on what you think all this stuff is. Try to, you know, figure all this out. But for the most part, an entire year's worth of figure was basically leaked. I don't know what that's going to do for me in my videos. So when the figures do officially are officially released, I will cover them. I will, uh, I will cover them because hopefully it will reveal more detail of that figure that I can actually talk about it. Um, I can actually, you know, give, uh, information about it. Anyway, don't forget, you can like this video, comment, and even subscribe, but only if it's your pleasure. Follow my social media links down in the description below. I'm about 17 and I will see you later.